pursuit of ever greater speeds has captivated engineers, scientists, and the public for decades. When Major William Knight piloted the rocket-powered experimental aircraft X-15 in 1967, it reached a top speed of 4,520 miles per hour or 6.7 times the speed of sound. The SR-72 Dark Star hypersonic fighter jet can fly at a maximum speed of Mach 10. Although fictional, the plane evokes Lockheed Martin's SR-71, which set a speed record for manned jet aircraft at Mach 3.2, or 2,455 miles per hour, in the 1960s. According to reports, China showcased its brand new, hypersonic-capable MD-22 long-range aircraft. The platform was believed to be a testbed for China's hypersonic technology. The MD-22 is believed to be a test vehicle for near-space hypersonic technologies. China is testing and improving its hypersonic technology. The objective of the British effort is to create a hypersonic engine that might serve as the foundation for a reconnaissance or combat aircraft. The Oxfordshire-based group is part of a UK-led military project that aims to make hypersonic flight a reality by creating an autonomous aircraft capable of flying at Mach 5, five times the speed of sound, or 3,800 miles per hour. Several months ago, a potential design of the single-engine hypersonic concept vehicle that may be as large as a Hawk trainer jet was unveiled. The team, comprised of aero engine manufacturer Rolls-Royce, the Royal Air Force, and the defense research organization DSTL intends to launch a demonstrator vehicle by the middle of this decade. The United Kingdom must accelerate its efforts in this regard. The primary objective of the UK project was to construct a low-cost and reusable hypersonic vehicle that could be used again. The system will rely heavily on Reaction Engine's revolutionary pre-cooler heat exchanger, initially designed for a spacecraft. At hypersonic speeds, a typical gas turbine's internal temperature would begin to melt components unless they were cooled. In a twentieth of a second, the company's heat exchanger can lower the temperature of 1000 degrees Celsius compressed air rushing into an engine to room temperature. This innovation will be included in a Rolls-Royce gas turbine engine. While it was too early to speculate on the precise uses of the UK initiative, the question was if it could strengthen the country's defence capabilities. On the other side of the Atlantic, the company is also testing its pre-cooling technology through a project supported by the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory. Reaction engines possessed the necessary resources and expertise and had conducted significant tests of their technology. BAE Systems, Rolls-Royce, Boeing, and the asset management firm Bailey Gifford are among the company's long-term strategic and financial investors. The United States, Russia, and China are developing hypersonic missiles, making them more difficult to track and stop than conventional ballistic missiles. While the United States Air Force has given Leidos a contract to create a new hypersonic air vehicle as part of its classified mayhem program, the experimental concept aims to demonstrate the capability to transport a variety of payloads to enable strike and intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions, and potentially lead to an operational platform. The Air Force Research Laboratory has granted LAIDOS a single award, indefinite delivery or indefinite quantity contract with a $334 million limit. In 2020, the first mayhem-related facts emerged, linking the program to the separate development of improved high-speed jet engines. 
This program is focused on creating a bigger class air-breathing hypersonic system capable of completing numerous missions with a standard payload interface, hence giving substantial technological improvement and future capabilities. The Mayhem system will use a scramjet engine to generate thrust, propelling the vehicle at speeds more than Mach 5 over extended distances. Work is scheduled to be finished by October 15, 2028, at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, Ohio, and other prospective testing sites to be chosen. The Mayhem system will most likely be an unmanned hypersonic aircraft, with a single engine fed by a massive air inlet under the fuselage. Now that the Air Force has granted a formal contract for Mayhem, it will be intriguing to learn more about the program and Lido's design, which might eventually lead to an operational hypersonic strike and ISR aircraft.